Have you ever seen a prison like this? All the food here is prepared by A-level chefs. There are three kinds of people in the world, the superior, the inferior, and the depraved. Galen wakes up and finds himself in prison. Galen looked down, but couldn't see the bottom, and looked up, but couldn't see the top? Sitting opposite Galen is Terry. Terry said that the 48th floor is not bad, and we will live here for a month. Nothing else matters. What matters is what we eat. Terry put the pillow on the floor and knelt on top of it. A suspended platform was lowered from above, and the platform was filled with various delicacies, and Terry started to eat. Gollin lost his appetite when he saw the leftovers on the platform. Terry advised Gollin to eat a little, because that's the only meal a day. Gollin picked up an apple and put it in his pocket. The food platform stopped for a short time, and then went to the next floor. Gollin felt hot, Terry explained, because you stole the food, this is our punishment, it will continue to heat up here. Gollin had to throw away the apple. The next day, Terry still ate food, but Gollin still refused to eat. Gollin asked how many layers there are. Terry said, I have only been to the 132nd floor. Gollin asked how much food there is. Terry said there was no food. Gollin said, so, how do you survive? Terry took out the knife and thought of other ways, if he didn't have anything to eat. Gollin ate the food anyway. On this day, there was a woman named Della sitting on the platform, and Gollin found that she was injured. Terry said that Della came down every month. Della looks for her child. Soon, Della followed the platform to the next floor. When the people on the next floor saw Della, they forcibly pulled Della away. Gollin was afraid that Della would be in danger, so he yelled. Gollin's worry was unnecessary. It turned out that Della was a ruthless character and killed both of them. Della followed the platform and went to the next floor. Time passed and Gollin got used to the life here. At night, Terry said, pray for both of us, I smell the anesthetic gas and hope we don't get assigned to a lower floor. And so they fell asleep. When Gollin woke up, he was already tied up with cloth strips. Terry appears with a knife. It turned out that they were assigned to the 171st floor and Gollin was about to become Terry's food. The food platform came down and there was nothing to eat on it. Terry told Gollin that he would eat Gollin after eight days, and would not let Gollin die, and would also help Gollin treat the wound. Gollin collapsed, these eight days are undoubtedly a long time for Gollin. When the time came, Terry pulled the cloth strip into Gollin's mouth. Terry cut off a piece of flesh and Gollin screamed. At this point Della came down from the platform, knocked Terry down, and cut Gollin's rope. Della handed the knife to Gollin, and Gollin took the knife and crawled over, attacking Terry frantically. When Gollin woke up again, he saw Della eating Terry's meat. Then Della followed the platform and continued down. A few days passed, Gollin couldn't bear the hunger, came to Terry's side, and began to eat Terry's body. When Gollin woke up again, he had already reached the 33rd floor. Gollin semate this time is Emojiri, who used to be a staff member of the prison. Emojiri said it was a self-management center and the food was plentiful. Emojiri eats only a little food a day and persuades the people downstairs to do the same. Leave more for the people below, but the people downstairs don't listen at all. A few days later, the platform came down and Della was lying on it. Della was injured and Goran lifted Della off. In the middle of the night, Goran was woken up. He saw Della and Imojiri fighting. It turned out that Della had killed Imojiri's dog. Soon, Della followed the platform and left. Imojiri said in a low mood that he came here because he was dying of illness, but Goran could do nothing about it. This time Gollin woke up and found that he had reached the 202nd floor. Imojiri couldn't accept the reality and committed suicide. Gollin looked down, but still couldn't see the end. It turns out that this prison has far more than 200 stories, Gollin yelled, eating paper like crazy. Gollin was so hungry that he came to Imojiri's body. After waking up again, Gollin found that he had come to the sixth floor. The inmate on this floor is Bahrit. Bahrit was carrying a rope, and he asked the people upstairs to help him pull him up. The two on the fifth floor readily agreed, but just as Bahrit reached the top, they suddenly let go of the rope. Bahrit nearly fell, and Gollin caught him. Before long, the food platform came down. Gollin finds that food is plentiful, but people on the seventh floor have started wasting food. Gollin said too, Bahrit that the two will go down with the platform tomorrow. Distribute the food on each floor evenly, and finally follow the platform to the top. The two make weapons. 
On the first 50 floors, they decided not to distribute food and violently suppressed it. Further down, they saw Eric, and Eric, told them to send the signal to the upper class, and they decided to send this up. They start distributing food from the 51st floor, but they also saw various tragedies in the lower classes. Until this floor, they saw Della was captured and killed by two strong men. Galen and Bahurt rushed up to fight with the strong men. After a fierce fight, the two strong men died. Galen and Bahurt, who were also seriously injured, dragged their bodies further down. Layer by layer is more tragic and terrifying. The platform on the 250th floor is still descending, and the food will be distributed soon. The 333rd floor platform is still going down. They found Molly under the bed. They saw that Molly was very hungry, so they decided to give food to Molly. But her it bled to death the next day. Galen and Molly sat on the platform and came to the bottom floor. Galen decided to send Molly to the top floor as a signal, and Galen walked into the dark space. Some people say that Molly is real, and some people say that Molly is Galen's fantasy. 